And today, for your enjoyment, I'm going to read Maurice Sendak's book right now, our a longtime favorite, Where the Wild Things Are. And at some point, I'm going to ask you to stand up, but I'll let you know when, and you'll know what to do when I ask you. <laughs> Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up and he was sent to bed without anything. <laughs> that very night in Max's room, a forest grew in his room. It grew and grew. It grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. Had his name on the boat, too. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, he sailed on to where the wild things are. <laughs> and he came to the place where the wild things are, and they roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, <laughs> and they rolled their terrible eyes <laughs> and showed their terrible claws. Ooh. And then Max said, Be still. And he tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes. <laughs> Without blinking, once. And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of all. Woo. And they made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the rumpus start. Okay, wild things, stand up. Stand up, wild things. Here's the rumpus. Let the rumpus start. Let me see you. Until 
Now stop. <laughs> and all the wild things quieted down. And Max sent the wild things off to bed <laughs> without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him <coughs> most of all. Then all around, from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, no, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Where you're sitting right now, gnash your teeth. Show your terrible claws. Let me hear your roars. But Max stepped into his private boat and he waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day And into the night of his very own room, where he found supper was waiting for him. King's got to eat. And it still was hot. That's right. It still was hot and was waiting for him exactly as it should be. The end.